Bundi Mara means um, good hands or safe hands. Um, and in regards to, the, to animal welfare, they are always in good hands with their pet owners. Um, and in case of an emergency, when you need to leave home, you can take your animals to be in safe hands. On Saturday the 6th of June 2015, the City of Greater Geraldton conducted an emergency exercise, Operation Bandimara. The aim of the exercise was to test the response to the activation of an emergency welfare centre and the City of Greater Geraldton Local Animal Emergency Welfare Guidelines 2015. The purpose of a field exercise is to ensure that all agencies are familiar with the geography of the local area surrounds, facilities and procedures during an emergency response situation. A field exercise also allows response teams the chance to experience real conditions where participants can put their training to the test. This DVD will cover the preparation behind Operation Bandimara, the exercise and the outcomes. The exercise had the following objectives to appraise the City of Greater Geraldton Emergency Welfare Guidelines and response in line with West Plan Welfare and the City of Greater Geraldton Local Animal Emergency Welfare Guidelines 2015. To evaluate responses from the City of Greater Geraldton staff and support agencies. To examine the activation and management of the incident by the Animal Welfare Coordinator and Animal Welfare Team to appraise the Department for Child Protection and Family supports management of the evacuation centre, assess the suitability of the success of the Red Cross personal support to victims and registration process, assess the response to the incident in terms of resources, collaboration and capabilities, enable students from Durack Institute of Technology to integrate their learnings of veterinary nursing with a multiple agency response in an emergency scenario. The guidelines recognise the connection between people and animals. Without such a plan, emergency response and recovery can be compromised and furthermore, the safety of people can be at risk. A significant amount of planning went into the exercise. The new guidelines list equipment and logistical needs, hence we needed to ensure we had this ready. We needed a suitable location, stakeholders on board and staff briefed and across the guidelines. The exercise had to be as real as possible. We needed volunteers, animals and agencies present and ready to act out the special ideas with passion to test agency capabilities. Collectively, we needed to understand where our gaps were in the guidelines, our operations, our people and equipment to ensure this could be adapted to perform better in a real situation. Fortunately, the pre-planning for the exercise paid off. The exercise commences with a briefing whereby all agencies, staff, volunteers are briefed about safety, the scenario, the parameters and objectives. This exercise had various areas of operation including the animal registration area, the animal triage area, the dog facility, cat facility and livestock area, the welfare centre which included a registration area, kitchen operations and emergency accommodation. The date is Saturday the 10th of January 2016 and a fire that commenced the previous day in the Shire of Chapman Valley has jumped containment lines and is spreading fast towards the areas of Wagrakine, Moresby and Wurri. The incident controller has activated the Department for Child Protection and Family Support to set up welfare centres. It's been activated by DFIS in regards to a fire that's approaching the, the outskirts of Jolton and they're evacuating people. The affected community is now arriving at the welfare centre. Maybe I'll just hold on to you, that would be great. The Department for Child Protection and Family Support is now working with the Red Cross to register people. It is not long before people start turning up to the centre with animals. What's his name? Unfortunately, we have to keep 
to look after me dog. Please. All right. I'm burnt on the arm and the leg, mate. Ah. Ah. Get the dog. Sit down, mate. I want my dog. Where's my dog? Where's my dog? I want my dog back. Come here. Where's my dog? Come on. Oh, right, she's not going to die. We're going to do our very best. I'll look after her. Oh, good girl. Good puppy. Yes, she's been a good puppy. As well as testing out a plan of the local animal emergency welfare guidelines, like in this case a field exercise, such as Operation Bandi Mara can allow people in various agencies to build up a knowledge under real life conditions. From a veterinary point of view, it was a great idea to see how we would all work under pressure but importantly for how much equipment you would need to bring. You don't know what's coming at you. Being prepared for all events would, would be an important thing that we will take home from this. Participants have an opportunity to put their own knowledge and skills to the test. And I think that one of the biggest lessons which I saw helped um, one of the residents, I said to him, we need to get you well um, so that you can be there for your dog. As soon as I said that, it kind of kicked in. So that was um, one thing I take away. I thought, what can I say to this man for the paramedic to attend to his injuries? So that seemed to work. It helps to iron out problems or areas that need improvement within the agencies or teams. There's a few things that we could do. Um, one of them is when we impound the dogs in a facility like the one we had today, is to have somebody there constantly monitoring those dogs and making sure no no get out or anything for the welfare of the dogs. And that also assists with the, the people that drop them off. They know somebody's there looking after them. It helps to build communication with different agencies, encourages people to manage problems and find solutions in a timely manner and in a pressure environment like a real life incident. And it allows management teams to assess their operational staff from a distance. There's a lot of learning for us today. We had a couple of unaccompanied minors attend who we had to take under our wings and, and, and monitor and keep an eye on. A non-English speaking person attended. So we tried to provide information as best we could of what's happening back in their, in their suburbs. So it's just providing welfare support. We don't do that alone, we do it with our partners in Red Cross. CWA people turned up to provide the catering. That's all part of the local welfare plan for the City of Greater Geraldton. And I want to congratulate the City of Greater Geraldton for thinking proactively about what to do with animals. People will turn up to evacuation centres with their animals. It adds to the trauma of already a traumatic event if people can't be with their animals or they're thinking constantly about their animals and they put themselves at risk. A hot debrief occurs directly after the exercise where agency heads and umpires discuss their observations on how the exercise progressed. The debrief enables a quick snapshot of how the day went and some brief comments on how operations could be improved in a real life situation. The key is a plan or guidelines might look good on paper but you have to test them to know what works or what's missing. Some of the key outcomes of this exercise is that we could say that communication within and across agencies was excellent we need to alter our guidelines and documentation to suit an operational environment. We need to acknowledge staffing resource needs for people, registration and animal facility management. We need to address resource needs such as appropriateness of temporary facilities. We need to establish stronger partnerships and MOUs with existing partners. The exercise enabled us to get a sense of as close to a real situation as possible. And finally we confirmed that there was a strong working relationship between agencies. We found it a very interesting exercise. Our ladies uh, are used to catering. We're used to catering in the bush and used to catering without electricity and limited water and things like that. It was even more important to us regarding the animals for me because I actually saw this in practice in uh, Victoria. My husband and I went some years back to as uh, part of the bushfire relief uh, in uh, just south of Sale and um, the stories that I heard as a counsellor uh, in regards to um, the effect of the animals uh, getting hurt and the rescuing, some of them would, would put their life down for the animal and would actually stay with the animal and, and uh, rather than leave them by themselves. Um, 
Some of them had to get into their cars in a hurry, had to pick up whatever animals they could find and, uh, and leave their houses and because it was a crime scene they were away for, for five days so they really didn't know if their animals were alive or dead. So what we've had today that the City of Geraldton has organised has been absolutely fantastic because the, uh, the different agencies, whether they're to do with the animals, the vets, the dog rescue, or whether it's to do with the people with the Red Cross and of course the CWA providing the, the, uh, the food, I think it's been an excellent day. Operation Bandimara was a successful exercise. Staff tested their operations, capability and capacity to respond to the activation of a welfare centre with animal welfare requirements. The outcomes of the exercise will work toward improvements to the local animal emergency welfare guidelines and how agencies will respond and work together in a real life situation. The City of Greater Geraldton has always liked to be an innovator in relation to uh, everything that it does and this exercise in relation to uh, animal management is certainly no uh, exception to the rule. The uh, work that uh, our staff have done and the work contributed by the agencies that uh, support local emergency management here at the city has been terrific and I'd like to thank them sincerely for the work that they've done.